Hey guys, Phoenix here from JKB Gaming and I'm here today to bring you a 3D text intro and gradient tutorial in Adobe After Effects. So if you're interested in this, please keep watching. Okay, so first off, what you want to do is go up to Composition here at the top of the program and click New Composition. <coughs> Voice crack, woohoo. Anyway, uh, right, my preferred settings are uh, 19, oh, 1920 by 1080. And uh, if you can't get these settings, it's because you have your uh, aspect ratio locked. So uncheck this box and you should be able to do it. Okay, so click OK, guys. And uh, you should come up with your new uh, window here. And the first thing that you want to do when you get this open is click on the text tool up here and drag your text in. And then do whatever you like, put in whatever you want. So obviously, we've got JKB Gaming here. And um, yeah. Don't have to make it white, but it's preferable. Yeah, yeah, make it white actually, make your text white. And then you've got your text in the middle here. So now what you want to do is go down to your layer here and click 3D layer. And just it should come up with these little arrows here. Alright, the next thing that you want to do is go down to your 3D view pop-up and go down to top. Okay. So you have this view here. And um yeah, just drag over to here. And then go down to your layer and click Control D and it should come up with another layer and then just drag this layer with the blue arrow behind just behind that layer and make sure you don't leave any gaps because then it won't look good for the 3D click on uh, your second layer and duplicate that again and uh, do the same and then do this guys until you have five of them like so you have JKB Gaming 5 or whatever you've got five so there you go and then just drag this one behind that's not as done, but what you want to do is you want to go from 2 until 5 and highlight these and then click Control D so it makes it quicker ok guys, so then just drag them behind and that's you, uh, that's that bit done so then go back to your front, ok, back to front ok, um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to create a new layer so go up to layer, new, and then go down to camera and this uh, window should pop up and what you want is th uh, preset is 35 millimeters and then just click OK alright so now you have this you'll see and uh, you go up to orbit camera, oh, go up to this bit here and uh, select orbit camera tool so you have this view and then you have to, go, if it isn't working then you have to go down to 3D view pop up again and click active camera so then you have this so you can freely move about your text Okay. so as you can see it is 3D but you need to stand out more so what you want to do now is uh, select the layers from 2 until 9 and then make this a different colour so just a light grey here make this one a light grey and then select your original layer original text layer and make this like you don't have to make it these colours just experiment trial and error you know it took me a while so yeah just test your colours I prefer grey I quite like grey so um yeah, just um, a light on the back, like a light colour, I think it looks better, and then a dark colour as your main. So as you can see now guys, you have your 3D text. And now I'm going to show you guys how to create a gradient. So if you want as well, you can select all your layers here, all your text layers, and make them all into one layer. It's more, it's like more efficient. So you go to layer, or you highlight them all, sorry, and you go to layer, pre-compose, and just uh, name it a reasonable name so 3d text for me and uh, as you'll see here it goes back to your default so what you want to do is it won't be 3d anymore so it won't work it doesn't work okay so now what you want to do is you want to go like you'll see these are uh, not highlighted anymore so you want to check that box and check this box and it should be 3d again so yeah guys that's it for your 3d text intro but now um, i'm going to show you how to make a gradient so you've got your text now and you've got your 3d you got your 3d and um now what you want to do is you want to go down to the layer box here and right click on the blank space and then go to new and solid and then I'm just going to pick colours like I don't know, I'm going to experiment actually I'm going to go for blue ok, so I'll get a dark blue here and um, then same again blank, uh, click on, right click on the blank space, go to new and then solid and then I'm just going to go and make a light blue Okay, so you have your you have your two solid uh, layers now, and you want to uh, highlight your 
layer, your text layer, and then drag it up above so it's like showing basically. And I'm gonna drag this one. Doesn't matter, you don't have to do that bit that I just done, but I just wanted that top, uh, that color on top. So yeah, now what you wanna do, that's not a gradient obviously because you can't see the other color. So what you wanna do is you wanna go up to your pen tool up the top here, or uh, just G on your keyboard, and um, click the top little box here that you see on the top, and then on the left hand side, halfway down, click there, and then drag it down until it meets both both corners. And then you want to go to the bottom here in the middle, and as you can see, it's kind of creating a an oval shape. So then, on the right hand side, and drag it upwards till it meets both corners, and then back to the original point, and then just click. So that'll create. And now you can see your back color. Well, obviously, this still isn't a gradient. So what you want to do is you want to go down to your second layer here, and then click the arrow, and it'll come up with masks. Then click that, and then mask one. Click this arrow as well, and it'll come up with mask feather. You want to drag this to the right, and as you can see, it's starting to fade into each other. And that does not look very good, but you can experiment, as I say. And I'm not going to go back, so yeah, just experiment with colors, guys. And as you can see, there's your gradient, there's your 3D text. And now, uh, if you want to make the 3D text move, like from left to right or up and down or whatever, then you go, all right, you go back, okay, you go back to your camera, then go to transform, and you'll come up with all these. You want to basically go back to your orbit camera tool here and then find your starting position of your text. So just say there, okay? And then you want to go like check all these basically. Check all these little clocks and then like to where you want to, like to like how many seconds. So I'm just going to go three seconds here, okay? Just three seconds. And then drag it around to your other thing so it should go from the original position and then drag it along and it should go around so as you can see guys 3d text there and if you want to make it go back to its normal just go just drag it along the timeline a bit and this is creating like so there you go it's keyframe it basically and as you can see if you drag it back to the start it's going from the left position to the right position then bouncing back into its original so guys that's been it from uh, Phoenix here at JKB Gaming. Hope you guys liked it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe on this video and try and make this video pass 100 views if you can and give it a thumbs up or five stars, whatever YouTuber having to do. So, peace out, guys. I've been at Phoenix and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.